In a world ruled by car dealers and their dogs, angry attorneys, and any yuds with a dollar to holler about a rectal dysfunction, one school had a vision of soul, of authenticity, of breaking the tyranny of broadcast mozzarella. From the author of Character Placements, the creator of Colors, and the director who's shown the masses how to find their voice, let's please welcome... Whoa, 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 wait a second. Who let this guy in here? I didn't pay to have somebody to introduce me. What? And I certainly wouldn't have him. You gotta go home. Oh. oh my manager in Portland told me this was gonna be my big break. <clears throat> hmm. All right. Welcome to the inaugural Voice Tracks podcast series. I'm Samantha Paris, founder of Voice Track San Francisco. In this first podcast, we're going to do a little myth busting about having to have a great voice in order to make a living in voiceover. Success in voiceover is not about having a great voice. Quite honestly, this voiceover stuff is just another form of acting. So one has to learn to act with simply their voice. Now, before you freak out and think, holy cow, I am not an actor. I don't have the talent for that. I say rubbish. Of course, you know how to act because you were six years old once. Remember when you were a child and you would pretend to be a pirate or a fairy princess? In my case, with the name Samantha, I used to pretend I was Samantha from Bewitched. For days on end, I would play in my grandmother's orchard in Los Gatos with my cousin Tracy. He would be Uncle Arthur. And I was Samantha. But let me ask you something. Were we pretending? No, of course not. Neither were you as the pirate. Our parents or the other adults would say, Oh, isn't that cute? They're pretending to be so-and-so. But we weren't pretending. And that's what acting is. Acting is simply being. My cousin and I, we were 100% being those characters. Oh, and it was so easy. Why? Because we weren't concerned about what people thought. We felt so free to express ourselves. Okay, look, when your kids or your nieces or nephews come home with a craft or a picture they've drawn in school, that thing is so adorable. It's precious. Can you not see their soul in that picture? What makes that piece of art so wonderful, so creative, so perfect is that it's not perfect. It is perfect in its imperfection. Okay, so why am I bringing this up? Because as adults, we live our daily lives trying to be so damn perfect. We've forgotten what it feels like to use our imaginations, to be free, to play, to explore. Because, oh, if we explore something, we might not be good at it right away, and then others are going to judge us, and then we'll no longer be perfect in their eyes. But there is no creativity in perfection. Perfection is boring. It's when we are imperfect that our true souls shine. Our vulnerabilities show through, and we begin to move each other and touch each other, and we begin to realize that we are one in the same. Okay, so now you're thinking, but Samantha, what does this have to do with voiceover? Well, as I said at the beginning, one does not have to have a great voice. One does not have to have talent. You already have a great voice because it's your voice. It is the tool that you have to express your soul, and your soul is perfect. And you don't have to have talent. You just simply have to be taught. And you can learn anything if you just get out of the way of yourself and not worry about being perfect and simply go back to being six years old. Hmm. Interesting concept, you think. Okay, forget about me having a great voice. All right, um, I can be six years old. Okay, but now what? Well, you're going to have to work hard and study to become a successful voice actor. There are so many different areas of voiceover work. Commercials, cartoons, video games, promos, audiobooks, um, museum audio tours, narration for documentaries, in-house corporate presentations, and... Oh, and even those voice prompts where you have to be convincing telling people to press one or press two. These are all different styles, and we as voice actors use different techniques for each one to be convincing. Let's say you want to learn how to do cartoons. 
Well, you might want to use the placement technique. Simply by placing your voice in different parts of your body, you can create characters. If you have to be a baby bird, you can simply talk out of the top of your head, or your eyes, or maybe your nose, or you could even put it in your throat if all of a sudden somebody asked you to be a baby boy bird. But what if you are lending your voice to a television commercial? What does that commercial look like? What are the visuals, the mood, the tone, the color? Perhaps if it's a commercial for Disneyland, you could paint it red with your voice and talk about what a fun summer it'll be. If it's a commercial about the Hawaiian Islands, maybe you could paint it orange, like the beautiful sunset the viewer is seeing. Or as we look out at the vast sea, you could use a violet voice. Ah, voiceover, voice acting. <laughs> it is so wildly creative. It takes time and practice to discover all that's within you, which actually brings me to my last point. If you want to pursue this, you cannot think of this as a get-rich-quick kind of profession. Or now that you can simply record your voice from home, think, You too can make thousands of dollars from the comfort of your bedroom closet. I thought you left. Yeah, well, your talk is so interesting, I thought I might stay and learn something. Well, I hope you did. Yeah, well... Hate to admit it, but I did. Guess I should tune in every third Tuesday of the month to learn more, huh? Okay, now where was I? Um, ah, making thousands of dollars from the comfort of your bedroom closet. Trust me, you can't think that. Well, actually, you can make thousands of dollars from your bedroom closet someday, but not right away. And come on, we all know that when we are solely focused on making money, the money never comes. But when we find something we're passionate about and work hard at it, being successful is a foregone conclusion. So, you want to be a successful voice actor? Tap into your inner six-year-old and start discovering your true self. Your true, beautiful voice. Beautiful voice.